Hey everybody. It's not a fine day here in the QC. I'm glad to see it. As always, I hope everyone is well and are able to get out and enjoy this day. Enjoy this great weather we're having. I know it's a bit warm for some, but for me, it's right up my alley, that's to say. <clears throat> I did have a word I want to share today. And it's the thought the most I gave me was somewhat comical. <laughs> he gave me a thought, but he put the sentiments of a statement made by Bubba on the Sanford and Sons <laughs> when he. Red Fox was scheming up on some old records that they had donated to a museum and once they found out how much it was worth they wanted to get them back so Bubba was posing as the son of the artists whose records they were or who made the records. I think it was Blind, Blind, Belly Jelly or somebody like that. But anyway, when Bubba and Fred went into the store, Bubba was playing Blind Presumably like his daddy. Presumably. Anywho, he went in and said, I want my daddy's records. <laughs> Real loud in the store. He all, they already had customers in there. And they was listening to records. So they was telling him to hush. He come right back. I want my daddy's records. <laughs> That's like one of my all-time favorite Sanford and Sons episodes. And the most I gave me a thought cons concerning that same enthusiasm. And it's what Caleb said. Caleb said, I want my mountain. He told Joshua, I want my mountain that the most I promised me. See, Caleb and Joshua, they were of the 10 spies and went, to, went into the land. But all the other spies came back with a bad report. But Caleb and Joshua were the only ones that came back with a good report. They said that the land was great, good. They even brought back some of the fruit of the land. And a good word, which was, let's go in right now and take it. We're well able with the most high's help. So the story goes on that the children of Israel refused the good report and took the bad report of the eight evil spies. And with that being said, Caleb was promised the land that he walked over when he went into the land. So, and the Most High told Moses that Caleb had a, a different spirit on him. And Caleb's name means 
in part, two parts, whole and hearted. So I guess K means whole and lib means hearted. And that's where we gotta be today. We have to be wholehearted, wholeheartedly serving the Most High and believing a good report. Not only believe in the good report, but we have to give a good report. Because people are waiting on good news these days. And they're waiting on someone like us to have experience with the Most High, who's come out of our Egypt, and out of our promised land, going into our promised land, out of the wilderness, going into our promised land. And we have a good report that we made it out and that we're, that we're well able to take the land. I had another thought the Most High just reminded me of from earlier, well, prior video. It is, everybody ain't gonna make it. And it won't too long after I did that video. That quite a few people I know didn't make it. But just as Caleb gave the good report, we must also. <clears throat> and it's sad to say, but we have to give up on certain people and give them over to the most high and let him help them. I hate to say give up, but stop putting forth more effort in them than they're putting in, in themselves. I got to thinking of how Caleb and Joshua must have felt when they came back with the good word or the good report that we're well able to take the land. And see what them guys refused to do. They refused to forget. And that's just like when we're traveling in the vehicle, we have a rear view mirror and side view mirrors, but the rear view is more important in this analogy I'm making now. Because every now and again, we need to look back and see the trouble that we, we have come through or to see how far we have come. And see, they remember the times when they came out of Egypt. And the Most High moved mightily and destroyed Egypt and gave them the wealth of the land. So going into the Promised Land wasn't a hard thing for them to see. If the Most High did the Egyptians like that, what couldn't he do? And see, that's my report today. If the Most High could save me, not only from my life of running the streets, selling dope, getting caught up, serving time in prison, in jail and in prison. Because that was the hard part, jail. On the cold, wet, concrete floors. Mm -hmm. But it taught me that lesson. It's just like Joseph, the most high, giving me a promise. And even though I was in prison and in jail by my own fault, I still kept my own promise. I still prayed and talked to the Most High. Even in my wrong, I've always had a relationship with Him. And I told Him what I was going to do. I said, Father, I'm going to go and do this, that, and the other. And I apologize for right now here today. And not saying that's right, but here I is. And I have a good report. And like I was saying, even through that life, that lifestyle I lived before, and even keeping me through that stroke, that massive stroke, or major stroke like they call it, heart valve, 
defective open heart surgery, brain surgery to remove blood clot. And it was a new operation they had just put in place. So I guess I was what they call their guinea pig. I'm no kind of pig, but that's what I, it was. They slid up. Ran a tube from my inner thigh all the way up into my heart and crossing over on up into my brain. And they broke up the blood clot and sucked it out. <clears throat> Amazing. Yep. So no scars. So anywho, from there went on and had three surgeries on my left leg <clears throat> to remove blood clots, which they pulled out a black string about double this size, looking like a worm, two of them, one on each side of my leg. And even though they got it out, and it saved me from losing my whole leg, I had to have three toes amputated. And that was two surgeries. Because they had to go back and remove some more bone that was protruding out that the skin wasn't going to cover over. So yeah, the most high have allowed me to go on down through there. But here I is, like I say, and like that script say, he has caused men to roll over our heads. But we came out on the other side. Into a broad place. Into a wealthy, spacious place, I believe. So like I was saying, I want my mouth. <laughs> I want my mouth. And it's that season. I'm going into my promised land. And I'm not taking less. Just like Caleb did. He didn't take less. He reminded of the man of the Most High, who was Yeshua, Joshua. He reminded him of the promise. And Joshua said, that's right, everywhere your feet have crossed or landed when we went into the land is yours. And this may be my final thought I'm not gonna say because I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do and the most I still trying to speak. But he told me this morning that he was no respect to person. Like my grandmother used to tell all of us, I love you all the same. However, and a but, whichever one you want to use in this case, he's going to give more attention to those that give more attention to him. And I saw that in my grandmother's life also. And in my mother's life. And in my father's life. You spend more time with that individual. Showing them your concern for them and not just for yourself. And what they can do for you. They tend to want to do more for you. To the point where you would seem like the apple of their eye, their favorite child or grandchild. But what I did notice is that most of the time, the ones that want, want my grandmother to say that she loved them the most, really want her favorite anyway. <laughs> really want her favorite. Because I think she found out early 
with certain personalities in our family. He started to saying what this Negro wants. But anywho, the most I just reminded me of that, that he picks and have no favorites. And to add on to that, we all have a choice. We all have to choose what, which way we want to go. Which way you want to go. So our soul salvation is in our own hands. As the words say, work out your own soul salvation with fear and trouble. So this is a commandment. Added fear and trembling on the end. I mark that in my memory. This is important. Remember that. And I do. And like I said, I have a good report now. And now it's up to you to believe my report. <laughs> because a lot of people ain't gonna listen. And that's fine. But the most I have not brought me through what he brought me to saved my life he gave me a story for no reason matter of fact that's what he told me he told me he was giving me a story and I remember a few years ago I told my wife I said I need a little drama in my life I want a little drama not stupid drama but just enough to make it interesting. And boy, has he ever allowed drum in my life. And it has been way interesting. To the point now I have a good report. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to share a thought I just had. I know the most I gave me. But I was just passing by this BMW track that's out here at um, the Hornet's Nest. They have like a state finals BM, BMX track where the guys ride around on the bicycles. Something I used to love to do. But I saw on the dirt sign that said there's no benches in BMX. And I want to add to that that there is no benches in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. And there's no sidelines. I think there are cheering, cheering stands, but that only comes to us encouraging each other. But what I mean by there is no sidelines and no benches in the kingdom goes to another thought. The Most High, I believe, has a book on everybody. It's already written and laid out. still have a choice of how we carry out what's written in that book. And I just wanted to ask, what is your book? What's written in your book? Are you going to be someone who rode the sideline your whole life, rode the bench your whole life, never got into the game, never said to the coach, put me in the game, coach. What is your story about? What is your book about? We know how it starts. In the beginning, there was Robert Allen Holloway, born June the 3rd, 1970. And in this life, Mr. Holloway lived a good life. He was a man of the Most High, Yah, Yahuwah. He followed Yahusha HaMashiach to his final day on this earth.
that's gonna be my time for today. But I want my mountain. <laughs> I want my daddy's record. Have to have that same enthusiasm. Like they're mine. They was, it was my daddy, so I want them. And just like Caleb, it was promised to me. I had the good report. I had faith in the Most High. And even though I had to wait 40 more years to get it, I want my promise. Okay, step, keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom.